Jake Chaplesky. Good morning. Come on, give it to me. Good morning. My name is Rick, and I'm a 28-year two-time cancer survivor. Thank you for riding the scenic shore and fighting against blood cancer. I was diagnosed 30 years ago as a college freshman with Hodgkin's disease. My parents gave me the news when they arrived at my dorm room unannounced and told me, Rick, you have cancer. I walked alone 48 times from my dorm room to the hospital next to my college for radiation. I told no one because I didn't want to be known as the cancer guy on campus. Radiation worked, but 18 months later, I had a relapse. I dropped out of college for treatment. After eight months of chemo and more radiation, my doctor gave me no evidence of disease on July 31st, 1996. And it has been that way since. <laughs> to fight cancer, my dad, who's taking a picture of me, <laughs> founded our team, the Sprocket Rockets, in 1994. He has ridden the scenic shore 25 times. Thank you, Dad. Our team today rides for Ed Thompson and Mary Sue Coffey, our longtime rider and volunteer who have their own ongoing cancer battles. I know you all are riding for many special people today, and I want to recognize all of them. People have asked me over the years, what does it feel like to get cancer? Well, imagine this. We are all going to start biking shortly. And you, yes, you are now 30 miles from here. You feel sore and a little tired, but pretty good. A van pulls alongside you. The van stops you, just you. And the driver says, your ride is over. Put your bike on the rack, get in the van. The finish line is not in Sturgeon Bay. For you, it's somewhere earlier, nondescript like a field. The finish line moves towards you rather than you towards it. This is what cancer feels like. But good news, the driver of the van gets a call on the radio and says, eh, never mind, you can keep going, then drives off. You feel angry, interrupted. No one seems to notice. So you get back on your bike and start pedaling. For several miles, you keep looking over your shoulder for that van. Most of the time, there is no van, but sometimes you see a van and it passes, and that's, that's scary. As you urgently pedal, knowing your time is short, you realize you're not that sore and you're not too tired. The ride, your life, it's a gift. This is what, uh, this is what survivorship feels like. I am grateful for your efforts today and to the LLS. This organization and you have saved my life. I have a call to action and a wish for all of you today. Regardless of why you are riding today, maybe you are a survivor or riding in honor or in memory of someone. Maybe you got talked into this. Or perhaps you're a gifted cyclist. Remember this. Realize how precious and finite your time is here. Pursue something valuable like today's ride. We have a chance to finish the Scenic Shore 150. One chance. If you run into challenges or self-doubt on the road, dig deep. Think of how each pedal stroke and dollar raise punches cancer in the face. Go get it. And when you finish this ride, apply this resilience to your life. Because if an ordinary guy like me could be diagnosed with cancer 30 years ago and be here today to finish the Scenic Shore 150, what can you do? Thank you, Rick. Let's give Rick another huge, huge round of applause. As Rick gets, uh, gets